Los Angeles Homeless Services Authority, LASA, opened registration for the 2024 Greater Los Angeles Homeless Count happening on January 23rd, 24th, and 25th. LASA conducts the homeless count each year, and their data is utilized by government agencies to determine where funding and resources are most needed. 8,000 volunteers will be required to count the unhoused people, tents, vehicles, and makeshift shelters across 4,000 square miles of L.A. County. In 2024, LASA will again use an app called Point in Time to record details of the count and will pilot the use of additional geofencing features. LASA's Greater Los Angeles Homeless Count includes the youth count from January 22nd to the 31st and the housing inventory count on January 24th. Volunteers for the Homeless Count can register at theycountwillyou.org. Los Angeles International Airport, LAX, is the sixth busiest airport in the world and the gateway to California, serving millions of travelers each year. As people journey through LAX this winter, they will experience an inspiring range of new artworks by 10 artists in nine installations. Presented by LAX's art program, the exhibits can be seen in Terminals 1, 3, 7, and Tom Bradley International Terminal. The artworks showcase LA's vibrancy through sculpture, painting, photography, murals, and multimedia. Five of the installations are part of the Meet Me at the Mural initiative, where artists design murals that welcome international and domestic guests to LAX. For more information about the new art at the airport, please visit lawa.org slash art dash program. Los Angeles Department of Transportation, LADOT, has activated upgrades to street safety at a Pacoima intersection in the San Fernando Valley. With funding of $3.8 million from a federal grant, the project was first approved in 2017, but faced delays due to COVID restrictions. Upgrades include a hybrid beacon, which brings vehicles to a complete stop and flashes yellow lights for pedestrians to cross the street safely. The intersection at Haddon and Paxton also features curb cuts and continental crosswalks, improving access to Ritchie Valens Park. For more information on public safety in your neighborhood, visit LADOTLivableStreets.org. <music>